Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Against the Storm. This is a roguelite city builder. Uh, now I'm about to lie to you, roguelites aren't something I'm usually interested in. Um, I prefer the sort of long form play of having one thing that we build up so long over time. Uh, but this one, the art style is incredible and if you know Geekism and you know me, I'm a sucker for a good art style. <laughs> uh, so we're going to come in and have a little go. I'll be honest with you, it wasn't really on the radar this one. I got an email about it and, um, and we thought we'd try it out. Um, uh, we, do you want to start a new game? Yes, I do want to start a new game. So I was playing around with it just to make sure I got a rough idea of what's going on. So uh, basically, each time you start, you have a selection of uh, things that you can start with. And, um, and we're going to basically work from there. And every time we complete it, um, we, can, we gain new build buildings to start over again with new buildings and each time we play we're, we're a little bit better set up for, for accomplishing our goals basically. So we start off with some simple stuff, uh, lumber camps, shelters, uh, stonemasons camps, uh, storage farms, trading posts, paths and a hearth, that's kind of like your central hub. Uh, and then you can also come in and you can gain um, houses specifically for the races. There are three races that you play with here, beavers, humans and lizards, which is quite fun. Uh, I'm going to ignore those because they, we have a basic shelter that everyone can live in. Uh, these one provides better quality of living for each individual race, but for now, um, they're all just going to be lumped into the shelter, I'm afraid. Uh, forager's camp is pretty important, I think, and trapper's camp. That's going to give us uh, food, one of the types of food, which is roots, I think, and mushrooms, and then this one is the larvae meat. It's They're not really going out and killing deer or anything. There's still some little pods on the floor, but you'll see when we get started. So... Um, then we're going to ignore the houses, yeah, uh, sewer, I, I create simple reed coats from reeds, I think we don't have to worry about that just now, uh, we'll take some wood to get us started, we'll take some, f all the food I think is probably a good idea, and that gives us zero, now I think, uh, it was said there was one settlement here with a famous brewery, okay, nice, so, I think we, they're extra people, right, I don't think that's, I think we start with some people, surely, Surely. Yes, we have two of each. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so here we go. Look at this. How gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Um, so let's see what we've got to start off with. We've got some mushrooms. We've got some stone. That's nice. I didn't have stone last time. That's super useful. Um, so the way it works then is we've got this sort of small uh, enclave and we've got a nice river here this time, a lake here this time, which I didn't have last time, although I don't believe there's anything I can really do with it. Um, perhaps there's fishing huts later on. Um, but to expand our space, rather than just building outwards, we're going to come into each of these little uh, sort of glaives here. And these glaives will provide us, like, we open up one, it'll be like, oh, in here there's some larvae or whatever. You can kind of have a little look at what might be in them. So this looks like some sort of reedy type thing. You know, you get a bit of an idea maybe sometimes. Uh, but even still, that sounds... Um, uh, like, I think we're going to head this way, maybe, because we've got three here that we can sort of open up the back here pretty easily. So, first of all, we have to have somebody manning the hearth. Um, when you see a space like this, any of the races can work it. So, we'll stick a human in there, and, and that's fine. So, basically, somebody's job is to just keep that plime, plied with wood. Um, so, you're not going to be playing this game for hours and hours in each level. You're either going to get all the way to here, which means you win the level by gaining reputation, or you're going to get all the way to here, which means you lose due to the Queen's Impatience. Now, the Queen's Impatience will turn up in a moment. Basically, they're little quests that we have to do, provide 10 wood, provide 10 stone, etc., uh, to the Queen. And um, if we don't, basically, the, the Impatience tickles up. Um, but every time we deliver one of those quests, it, it knocks it back down again. So a little bit sort of um, a little bit frost, uh, frost punk there, you know, with the reputation and uh, what was it? What was it? Morale and 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 hope or whatever it was in in frost punk, um, and it's same kind of thing here. So there's our storage. So first of all, uh, we need some big thing is shelter. So this carries four people, and we currently have six. So two of these will uh, do us pretty sweetly. Now, it's interesting. We can't actually build by that lake. Okay. Um, well, we'll do these over... We're going to spread out this way. So probably our, our building material buildings are going to be over this way. So we'll go for a couple of these shelters here. Um, two will be enough for now. And they should both get jumping on those. Now, the next big thing is lumber. Because not only do we need wood 
to make stuff, uh, we also need to try and, like I say, clear out these trees here to move forward. So we're going to put a lumber camp just down here. And hopefully they'll all run and, uh, and get started on... They're taking some of the wood we've already got in storage. And they're currently telling us these little things above their heads are telling us that they need somewhere to sleep. But that's uh, these houses are going to provide that. So uh, Against the storm then, the name is. And that's because there is a storm coming at the end of each sort of calendar year. There's a big old storm here. Drizzle year one, next clearance in four minutes. So that's kind of like clearance seems to be almost like spring, I guess. Um, and then there's a big storm, and the big storm is nothing grows. You all get shut up for a little while, and it's kind of like a, a, a skill check, I suppose. So lumber camp here, worker slots. We can put anyone in them. I, I feel like well, beavers would provide more wood, but it, it doesn't seem that they do. But even still, I feel like beavers should work in the lumber camp. But sometimes I think uh, only specific people will be able to work in places. Uh, but for the most part, I think that's um, mo a lot of them have basic ones. So if we don't give them anywhere to specifically aim towards, they will just uh, they will just get trees as we go. So what we're going to do is make a little strip there, and then basically as soon as somebody touches that, they're um, they're free to open up. So. Uh, these pop up every now and again. You have to pick one, and sometimes they give you bonuses, sometimes they give you negatives, but you kind of pick one. It's the Queen's Cornerstone, they call it. So we can either have um, plus one to clay production. We're not making any clay just yet. Um, we we have a delivery line of lava meat per minute. That's pretty sweet, actually. Um, you have a good relationship with the capsule. The Queen's impatience grows slower, but the resolve is down by four. Mm, that seems a little bit negative. And stolen tech, our last ma uh, messenger to the capital, managed to steal some ancient blueprints. Builders carry three more resources, but the Queen's impatience grows by two. No, I don't like that. I think it's. I think obviously we go for the the meat line. Which I think just means it just turns up. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, these are the tutorial. We know all of these. So here we go then. The Queen's Orders has popped up now. So this bar will start to raise. And the way we lower it is by completing these. So uh, discover two glades. I'm pretty sure that just means those two little areas. So that should be pretty easy to do. Build a second lumber camp. That should be pretty easy to do. It also gives us some beavers and some tools. And whetstone. Okay, so I think... I think, well, there's one glaive already, and there's some reed fields, and uh, and it gained us some tools. Uh, so, second, first of all, let's go for a second lumber camp then. Uh, sorry, resource, that is. And we'll, we'll head it over this way, I think. Um, but also, we've got a lot of gathering over here, so let's not get too close to all of those. So maybe, what's down here? Oh, there's a nice big one here. There's two big ones here, in fact, actually. So how about a second one there? I know we said we'd focus up this way but this seems uh, like an obvious spread so we'll get that built there and then we also need a i think that's a gathering foragers for that one and stonemasons for that one now do we have those stonemason camp we have good so we'll put you there and foragers i saw that just then Scav ah no do we not have forage oh no forage just comes under food okay and you can go there so that's going to provide us with some stone and some mushrooms and um and like i say we've got i think it said we had meat just sort of trickling in and here you'll see the resolve of the individual uh races we have and we can open these out and see how that's actually being formed so at the moment they have shelter and some basic food um, we can increase the resolve by providing more produced food later on. Um, but that, I don't think we're going to be able to do any of those this time because we haven't got the buildings to do it. Uh, one thing we can do, if one of them's really struggling, so for instance, they all eat different foods. So if, if we just have no roots, basically, we can use this lighter treatment and the beavers will be let off a little, and but the other two will suffer. But at the moment, they all seem to be doing okay. So we'll click those. All right, so let's just uh, have a look at foragers. So foragers does require beavers. So I'm actually going to take the beavers off the lumber camp and we'll put so a lizard on there. And then we'll put, uh, we'll put two beavers on here. Okay. And now that that's been found, if we do a strip here to open that larger enclave, and in fact what we'll do is we'll take people off there and we're going to put them on this one instead. Um, because that'll they'll work quicker by coming to work and just knocking these trees through. And what that'll give us is that we'll get that second glade quicker there. So we have two lumber camps and we have some wood. So we get some beavers and some tools and 
Uh, we'll see this red number at the bottom here by delivering that. Uh, oh, does it not go down? Oh, okay. I thought that would go down. Maybe... Oh, I thought that's how that worked. Do we just have to get reputation quicker than that fills up then? Oh, okay. I thought the impatience went down. Never mind. Um, maybe certain ones do. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to open up this one here, which will give us our second glade, but also a nice big area to work in, which looks fun. Um, so we can put somebody in the stonemasons now. Uh, we have a beaver free. Did we put beavers here? Oh, yes, because we gained two beavers, of course. So um, here we go. We'll put a beaver in there as well. So at least there's something going. So we'll start working towards here. And then um, and we'll get we'll get a little path here ready as well for this one because the glaze are going to provide us really with what we need and then eventually we can just start working away wood and, and open the area up at a much bigger uh you know bigger point so at the moment we have four beavers so eight so we're going to be hopefully needing more um space soon what's that one to tell me farmers can hand uh, can harvest planted crops okay so we're not we're not planting crops at the moment um that second glaze not quite explored yet i think we've kind of split the workload here and here but that's fine we'll get there momentarily now obviously these aren't finite so there's 30 out of 30 there but we can move the building so when all those three have gone we can pick up the building and shift it and that's not a problem uh what have we got here we've already we can do the mushrooms straight away is it going to take 45 mushrooms off us though that's pretty intense but it does give us a uh, Three species are locked in a constant struggle to gain the queen's favor. Humans, remember your help. Plus six to human resolve. Well, that's quite nice for quite a lot of mushrooms. I'm going to say go for that because it will, yeah, take quite a few mushrooms off us. But we do have three plants worth of mushrooms here. And that gives us a nice little boost there, actually. So um, I think I'm all right with that. There, oh, here's where we got. So these are two, mar two, blah, 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 two moth lava and six human resolve. So humans should be pretty, oh, the summary. Yeah, there we go. Humans should be pretty happy right now. Yeah, good for you, humans. And if we get to here, um, then we start to gain rep uh, slowly as well. Like, if we get up to this line here, rep starts coming in. Now, I think with the basic houses, we may struggle um, to, to get all those in because I don't think we have the ability to create any higher level stuff on this first go around. So, basically, this first level is get that rep to here before that gets to here. And that's, you know, that's it really. So we've got some whetstone and some tools. Nice. Okay. And this one has got some, what was that? Small clay deposit. Okay, so how do we get clay? Do we have what we need? Scavengers camp. Nice. Um, so clay, I didn't, I couldn't find clay on my uh, first playthrough. So I'm quite glad we found it there. So we'll put that down. And then reeds are scavengers as well. So how are we doing for reeds? We have zero reeds, but I don't, I don't think anything just eats reeds. I think we only make coats out of them. Uh, produced at the sewers from reeds. Yeah, we didn't click sewers, did we? So I don't think there's any point in gathering the reeds. It's not like a basic food source. And I don't think the clay is particularly either. The only reason we would probably want those is either for completing these rep things, but also what we can look at doing now is we can build a trade post. Um, and the trade post is going to be useful because traders turn up and they probably have stuff that we don't. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. So we probably have a few people not doing anything. Is that what this number is, perhaps? No? Okay. Um, we have some spaces here. Oh, yeah, look. So we'll get a human working in there. We can get a human working in that one. How's this lumber camp doing? Oh, my words. People everywhere looking for work. And that one's full. So we have a space there, basically. That'd be nice if that number was a bit clearer somewhere. Perhaps it is. So the storm is coming, is it? Let's have a look. Uh, clearance, year one, next storm in one minute 32. So really all we can do here is make sure that everyone is homed, which I'm guessing they're not because I've just seen that we've now gained more humans, haven't we? So let's quickly get a shelter set up for, for those folks. Uh, oops. Um, let's turn it a little just to keep the uh, place looking a little bit more average. Okay. So is there nobody free to build there? Is that what this is telling me? My goodness. Okay, so let's wipe a couple out of here for a moment. And can we do priority? No, I don't think so. 
Uh, what you found up here? Mushrooms and clay. Nice. And some tools as well. Cool. Uh, okay, well, we can move up there. We've got mushrooms being taken here. And we will have eventually clay being taken down there. But when both of those are uh, taken out, we can just move those two build buildings up here. So that's pretty useful. And for now, I'm just going to let them take random trees. I don't, I don't think there's any particular area we need to worry about. Could really do with this house getting built. I didn't realize we were we were that far behind. Um, I don't believe there's a sort of do this quicker building, but what I suppose we could do is we could destroy those so that the only thing people can build, um, maybe even take them off there, the only thing people can build now is this. So let's see if we can, if they'll get it up and quick enough. I know, I know you're homeless, folks. I know you are, but all you need to do is get that building done and then you will all be fine. There we go. And it looks like we'll just be in time. <laughs> come on, come on. Get it built, get it built, get it built. Okay, so there, the weather's extremely harsh, but looks like... I feel like we had that just in time. So there's nobody homeless now, that's good. So looming darkness is going to make everyone feel a bit crappy. There we go. So there's not much we can do about that now. Let's see if there's anything we can turn in. Oh, there is as well. So they can have their stone. And we now found some more glades. Nice. So we'll deliver that as well. Nice, that's our rep going up. So here we need clay. Okay. So, seeing as we cancelled that clay, I'm going to build it um, up here instead. because it, Just because it's a bigger spot. And therefore, they'll be able to hang out there longer. These mushrooms are nearly running out. So, again, that'll just be a case of throwing that building up there. Uh, whetstone. Looks like it's kind of on the way out. Uh, there's two... two two lumps of that there is that one there is that a tree branch that looks like a tree trunk here what did we find down here that was stone as well and stone as well okay so we do kind of need to keep working towards spaces so let's um let's just do a run here to that one and see that looks like it's evil folk there so i'm going to ignore that because we i don't know how that works but we haven't got anything set up there for anything uh, lizards have to work in scavenger camps. That's fine. We can go and do that. So the storm finishes soon. That's good. Um, we can think about maybe planting food. I don't think we're going to have to farm this time. I think we're going to be okay just scavenging for now. Probably fateful last words. But uh, five, six, we've got nine, ten, eleven people. Each of these take four. So that's twelve. That's fine. Um, we can't deliver that yet. But, ne but those aren't actually... Uh, they're not coming up for a little while anyway. Okay. Okay, so newcomers. So after the storm, I think we can just get some people. So we have to accept people. Currently, we're a little lower on beavers and lizards. So I think that beavers and lizards there, we're okay for humans. So I'm going to accept that. We can now take a bonus as well. So we can just get some old roots in. Um, you treat your workers a little bit lighter. Builders can carry one resource less, but global resolve goes up by three. Uh, camaraderie. The beavers went through uh, many hardships together. Their bond is stronger than ever. Oh, beaver resolve. That's good. And um, 50 pieces of milk cap mushrooms. So mushrooms we're doing really well for. And we're not doing great for roots. We haven't found any of those yet. But I feel like 50 pieces of roots is a pretty quick fix. Whereas beaver resolve is actually going to really help us out. So I'm going to take beaver resolve. Now, uh, now our aim is to really look for roots. Now, we do have to build some more houses now. Because we, um, we, well, we basically have more people. So I think, how many have we got now? Five, we've got 11. Is there a number somewhere that just tells us how many people we've got full stop? I can't see it. I have to do some, uh, some adding up. 16. So another one of these will do, actually. So I'm going to bring it down to here. Uh, which way around have we not got yet? That way. Just trying to make them look a bit more interesting. Um, lumber camp, lumber camp. So you're doing little at the moment. I'm going to put some beavers and wood there. We have loads of wood, but that's fine because even if we're not using it too much, um, it's going to be good for trading, okay? Uh, talking of which, we do need to rebuild the trade center then because we uh, we cancelled that. There we go. Farming. I'm not, I'm not too worried about farming just yet, although if we could farm roots... Let's have a look. Food production. Uh, no, it's milk or grain. But I don't, I don't believe grain on its own. It's made from flour at the mill. Yeah, I don't think, I don't believe grain on its own actually benefits anyone. Um, the hostility of the forest. 
Oh, what's that one? The forest seems to become more dangerous each year. The people are scared. Oh, no. Poor, poor people. Um, all right. Have we got any? Have we got anything that just the way that who just wants grain? I don't think we have, have we? So right now, the only thing that farms can grow are milk cat mushrooms, and we're doing really quite good for those. So I'm not too worried. We do need to find roots. Hopefully, we'll find roots. And is that? Do you reckon that disdain this thing here is just because we're we're heading into areas that and then doing nothing with that area, maybe? What are you doing? Are you are you are you just gathering reeds? Huh. I want to I want to watch you. You're clay you're a clay miner. But you ain't mining clay. Oh, we got a couple of new quests. Let's have a look. Uh, 20 planks, can't do that. Discover full glaze, we can do that. That gives us ancient artifacts, radiates warms, plus three to global resolve, nice. And amber that we can use to trade as well, I believe. Um, so, Clay, why, why, I don't understand why you guys here. I really don't understand why you are gathering clay. Ah! You will scavenge clay and reeds. Require clay deposit and a reed field nearby. Well, the clay deposit's right there. Can I can I say don't? Ah, here we go. Clay. Production focus. Clay. There we go. No interest in the reeds, folks. Right. Okay, that's good to know. Anyway. Uh, all right. Trading post is going up. We've got some amber. Valuable good. Uh, widely accepted currency among folks of all species. Crystallized tree blood. Fitting. Nice. Okay, so we can use the amber to trade once we get that up and running. So really, we're looking at um, we're looking at finding glades. That's going to be a nice, easy, um, easy thing to fix. So there's one. There's two we're going to find in a minute. Uh, let's say you can be three and you can be four. Okay. So that'll find us that four glades for that one there. Planks, I just don't think we can do it unless we unless we buy them. I suppose we could buy them just for the reputation. Um, and then this one, uh, yeah, clay. We need you. We need you really focusing on clay, folks. To be honest, there we go. Storage is empty. That's fine. So we have one clay. What I might do then is get another scavenger camp, um, and set it up down here because I'm sure we've got people who are not working just to focus on that clay. Oops, there we go. So here we go then. Uh, some folks are saying there is a trader coming and can be expected to arrive at the first quarter of clearance. Okay, so next clearance in 256. All right, so in 256, the trader will turn up. We've got some amber for him and we'll most likely use him just to stock up on roots because we, if he has roots, because we just haven't found any. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I feel like we're doing okay. We're doing better this time than I did in my run through, honestly. <laughs> so, humor. So you are you're happy. No, your end resolve is nothing. But you're you're you've hit your resolve number. There we go. 0.18 points per minute. So we could really do with getting you guys up a little bit. I don't know how to get rid of the hostility. But you still you are on a positive, which is good. Ale, reed coats, grooming. How do we do grooming? Oh, beaver house. Heat, lizard house, bath, human house. Right, there's the there's the specific houses things. Right, okay. So yeah, so without those, it's a, this is going to be more of a more of a slow slog. This number currently is higher than this number, and for that I'm grateful. But um, but yeah, I still think at the moment we need clay, and um and these glades being explored so let's get two people working here it's going to be lizards and we're going to focus on clay and over here we've got two of you focusing on clay we've still only got one storage though ah i guess that storage there doesn't count it'll get brought down to here right one yeah so when that gets filled i assume somebody will bring it down yeah, okay, that seems to be sensible. Here we go. We found a glade here with some reeds and five, just five pieces of clay straight off. Nice, okay. 
Uh, where else were we working towards? We're going to get this one soon. And then they can work over here. And where was the last one? Should we set up four? One. Did we set up four? Oh, they found two. Oh, they found two. So which was the other one we found then? Oh, here? I did. I missed this one. It's just more reeds. Yeah, did we cut through? Which way did we go to get here? We just come along here, did we? Uh, oh, we got two planks from somewhere. Where the hell have they come from? So I, I'm pretty sure the when the when the um, uh, trader appears, it pops up. Here we go. So what, what did we find here? A medium lava burrow. Now, meat, 25. Who's eating meat? Oops. Uh, is it you folks? Mushrooms? Who eats meat? Eating bread? Root? Yeah, so you're out of roots now. Okay. So you've still got wood, which is fine, but I would really rather you have roots. So who eats meat? Oh, there we go. Moth lava meat. You don't seem to eat that much of it. Because we've still got 25. Unless we just started with loads. Did we? Uh, but this thing is... Uh, where is it? Medium lava burrow there. So that is a trapper's camp, I believe. And I'm going to get one set up because we don't have it otherwise. There we go. And we could really do with a few people coming in. So you are... I think this one here means that you're happy and you know it which is good so this trader i'm hoping this trader is going to offer us some cool stuff oh here we go so we now have the clay nice deliver boom and what did we get for that amber and tools nice um so that one last glade would be really useful before the before the um trader gets here so which one was it that we were opening up never mind he's already here um it's oh it's over there look that last tree and he's going to be here this long. I'm going to hold on and see if that last tree gets taken down before we get here. Because I want I want all the amber I can spend on everything. There we go. Okay. So we've got clay and three beavers. Nice. Okay. So that means we can turn that one in. Boom. So let's see what this trade has got for us. Anything nice. Is that we need planks, but I think we need more planks than that, don't we? Hold on. Oop, no, I don't want to be over there. I want to be over here. I don't want to waste the trader time. Uh, we need 20 planks. Okay, never mind. So we'll take we'll take the planks you've got because they can they'll help. Um, the beavers went through many hardship. Beaver, yeah, we'll take that. Beaver resolve. Um, we will take the. I was really hoping they would have some roots. There's no, zero roots, and I haven't found roots anywhere yet. Uh, okay, is it worth taking anything else? I clay. I don't think we're using it. Reeds we're not really using. Whetstone we're not really using. So let's put all the amber in. Boom. Oh, oh, the amber is only just enough for those. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're making sure this goes the right way. I mean, we've got a little to play with. I mean, I guess we could take some reeds. We have five reeds. I just really don't think it's that useful. But I suppose if, it, if the queen wants it, let's take 15. So 15 is too much clay. Let's try 10. 10 is just too much clay, so let's take 5. And we're just in the green. Okay. We'll trade that. So the only really decent thing we got there was, was Beaver Resolve, honestly. Um, do we have anyone who's homeless now? Yeah, we do. We've got a couple of beavers who are homeless. So let's... Uh, I might leave those open, actually, for now. Housing, shelter. Let's get another one of you in. Uh, we'll move up this way a little. For a bit more shelter. Uh, and yeah, you're fine over there. Clay deposits, nice. We've got some more stuff here. Oh, nice. Now, gather outposts, we can do that straight away. Oh, God. 70 mushrooms. Well, we got oh, that's why we don't run out of meat. We've got the trading route. Root trading route. Awesome. Boom. Deliver. And I mean, we're nearly there now anyway. So that's going to bring us some roots in. That's awesome. So do you know what? Forget this. I, I realize we're... we're we have more than enough meat coming in, I believe. We've even got more meat coming in now. An ancient straight author. So that's just regular general resolve. Oh, yeah. We're doing fine here. I think we've won. Oh, nice. I'm glad about that because my, like I say, my first playthrough did not go so well. Now, I guess I've completely forgot about this thing here. 
Uh, that will gather roots and milk cake mushrooms, but neither of those are around. So we can that we can move it over here for them um, to help them just, you know, can get their mushrooms in a little bit quicker. That's whetstone. There's still whetstone there. Lagers, that's fine. You're grabbing the clay. Oh, nice. I think we can we can sit sit and chillax. Uh, plants, we have got no chance. Grain, we've got no chance. Ale, we've got no chance. So yeah, definitely. Definitely next time we need to look at at least, at least one or uh, one level of uh, advancement, you know. Uh, some some produced item, bread or beer or something like that. But otherwise, uh, we have nearly managed to hit uh, the reputation, which I'm pretty sure will pop up and say you've won. And you can if you want to carry on playing, but I, I feel like you're just going to eventually run yourself into the ground, right? Because all the resources are finite. Um, there's nobody working there? What's up with you? What are you telling me about? Storage is empty. Oh, it's you have literally run out. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. You've won. Uh, so because we won that and got all this nice experience into level two, we can now make a brewery, which is ale from grain, uh, a tavern, which sells the ale, a lumber mill, which is planks from logs, a rain collector... Uh, rain is gathered and distilled here for distribution of spark water. Uh, work moves much faster if proper pottery is available. Okay. And stone roads, a road made of whetstone, 20% villager speed increase. Nice. Okay, so lumber mill seems to be the obvious one there because it's just wog lo logs into planks. I'm going to say plogs then. Plogs. Plank logs. Plogs. Um, but yeah, how fun's that? I was just, this is just going to be a one-off for now, um, because that kind of I don't think you can really do much else. But um, now show your impressions with us and other players on Discord. We want to gain some developments, uh, and I would suggest adding it to the wish list. I'll pop it in the description for you. Pretty fun this one. Again, I'm not normally into the whole roguelike thing. I, I prefer to, you know, have one big level that that levels up over time, but. Um, I, this, this one's quite charming, to be honest. Against the Storm. Check it out. Uh, go and follow him on Twitter. Join the Discord. Let him know Geekism sent you. Love you all to bits. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, be good.